Hello and welcome to another review. In this review we'll be focusing in on Swipes for Android. And Swipes is basically a new task management application that can allow you to build up tasks um, and put information on that and also remind you at specific times throughout your day. Um, a bit like the Wunderlist and to this as well and it's kind of quite brand new to the market. And today this is a Android review. And now I do apologize before I start this review because I'm actually using a Moto G 2014 so the kind of speed of this application might not be the kind of iPhone 6 level of the iOS world uh, and Apple world so bear with me if there's any slight latency issues um, but here we go so this is Swipes for Android and it basically has the same sort of structural design as the iPhone application however it is focused a lot more on the Android experience and specifically on material design. And for those who don't know what material design is, is material design is a, um, a Google-based um, operating system. It's not really an operating system, it's part of an operating system. Um, and it basically allows the user to have a more immersive experience. So if you can see the, the top bar is blended in, um, and you know easy features like swiping around and kind of card based um, features like this kind of plus button so it kind of feels like there's lots of cards on top of each other which is quite nice um, and it's very playful and fun and it's very reactive to your kind of finger touching in specific areas so here's swipes and I want to go through like three core features that I really love about this one um, and firstly it's probably the swipe feature. I know it's called Swipes, but obviously the swipe feature is very neat. So in your initial stream, you've got now, and now is where, you know, you get your main tasks from. So everything you need to be doing now. So as you can see, it's all done for now and it showcases when the next task is. But if you swipe this way, so if you swipe right, you can see all the tasks you've done, which is pretty cool. So, um, so for example, if, if you had a task now and you swiped it, um, it would go straight into your done and you'd be able to see all the things you completed, whether it's today, you know, old tasks and all that. And there's features here where you can clear them too. The next thing I really love about this is the schedule and later feature. So if you've made a task, so you can simply click down here for a task, is if I said, um, hey, everyone is a task, um, then I could tick that and it would go into now. So it knows I'm gonna be doing it now. But let's say I want to do it later because I've got some time during three o'clock. So if I just swipe, that's the this is the way to get it scheduled. Um, I can choose specifically what time I want to do it and it will pop up at that time. So let's say I wanna do this this evening. It will pop up specifically this evening. But how I can detect this is I can go into my later and see which ones I do. So if I wanted to jump ahead and actually complete some tasks relevant to later, then I can do that. And you can also go into it and you can um, change all those kind of features, get it to repeat multiple times. Uh, I love about this, you can hold it down and then choose a specific time you want it and snooze it till then, which is cool. And it's perfect because it pops out right then. Okay, so that's basically adding stuff. But on top of that, you've got a brilliant feature called Workspaces. And Workspaces is where, when you're writing a task out, let's say I wrote episode for me, I don't know why, because I just suggested it. But if I touch these two, home and work, it allows me to, uh, as soon as I enter, I can see, I can go into Workspaces, and I can see what, I'm, what tasks I can do at home specifically, or what tasks I can do in the workspace. Um, and that's really useful because I can then see what tasks I want to do in specific locations. You could do this for maybe 15 minute tasks. You could do this for maybe 20 minute tasks. You could do this for I'm at home tasks. You can do it for I'm on a train, offline, etc., etc. So the contextual ability of that is really, really profound and it's really, really useful. Again, this way is to secure you've done it and that way is to secure you want to schedule it. But I'm just going to do click done for now. So overall, I really love this application. I mean, it fits all the needs. It's got perfect search and multi-select bar. But another feature I really like about it is the settings because it does go a bit deeper. So here we've got integrations, which allows you to see um, how you can link up to Evernote. And the link up to Evernote is pretty sweet. You can make sure the notifications are on, vibration. And also, um, along with this kind of material design layout, you can also make it dark. Um, you can actually... Uh, you know, immerse yourself in that kind of experience. If I go back to the settings, um, I'll just turn the light again because I like that one. And finally, there's the ability to change when your snoozes are available. There's also features like being able to talk in the Google Plus community specifically about things. You can synchronize from here and also invite friends, which is pretty useful.
So overall, it's a very basic task management application that has really strong potential. Um, it's really fantastic. They've really customized it for Android. And I'm sure in the future, I think this is your probably your default task application app. Um, it's very simple, very intuitive, and very easy to use. Uh, perfect for those kind of beginners of productivity. So this is the Android version, and I will link in the description how to get it in the Play Store. And also, um, I'm looking forward to seeing how you guys are using it. So please share your kind of experiences on Twitter with me at Francesco D A underscore, sorry, D underscore A L E S. So uh, thanks very much, guys, and hope you like this review. Check out other reviews, and I'm hoping to redo the iOS uh, swipes version um, of the review because I think it could be done a little better, something like this. Um, and I really hope that you find benefit in using this. Thanks very much.